once you've applied the binary changes to your Oracle home using Opatch, it's time to update the Oracle databases that use that home. And that means applying SQL changes to the database. The way to do this is to use the data patch utility. And data patch is the follow on to SQL patch. And if I have to sum up its function in, in kind of one sentence, it makes your database match your Oracle home. So whether you've got more patches in the Oracle home or coordination needed between say the executables and the PL SQL packages in the database, or whether you've rolled back patches from the Oracle home, data patch will just do the right thing and make the database match the Oracle home. We've made a lot of improvements to data patch over the years, including things like increasing the number of pluggable databases that can be upgraded efficiently or patched efficiently in parallel. We also have added thresholds for the recompilation of invalid objects to give you control over whether UTLRP will run automatically as part of data patch. Because what can happen is once you replace a package body, for example, you may find things that depend on that have to be recompiled on the fly in order for your applications to use them. That'll all happen under the covers. Uh, that's just the way PL SQL works. But sometimes having that UTLRP run during the data patch period will just give you a better user experience overall, kind of more even performance for your applications. So let's demonstrate how data patch works when we're applying changes to the database. And remember, we will already have uh, applied the opatch uh, changes to update the Oracle home. So first we have to start up the database and make sure in a multi-tenant environment that you start up all of your pluggable databases if they aren't set to be opened upon CDB startup. Then you simply go to the Oracle home uh, opatch directory. That's where data, pay, data patch lives, the executable. You execute data patch, you can give it the verbose tag, it'll tell you everything it's going to do. No real uh, arguments needed there because it will determine based on what's installed in your Oracle home and the patches installed in the Oracle database, whether anything needs to be rolled back or applied in order to make them match up. So it's pretty simple. And at this point now, what we've done, we've applied the 19.10 uh, release update where we used to have 19.9 on that database. Now, when we're dealing with patching a container database, it's again important to know that data patch simply does the right thing, but it will only do that on the pluggable databases that are actually open. So with each pluggable database, by default, a pluggable database will not be open upon container startup. You can set that, you can set the startup state of a container for each PDB. But just to make sure it's a good idea to do an alter pluggable database all open when you're going to be patching that database. We will take care of PDB seed, even though the seed database is normally read only, data patch has the intelligence in it to change it from being uh, read only, do the patching and then close it back up so that any newly provisioned databases after that point will have the patches installed in them. Then you'll want to verify the result of your patching. Verifying the results, like many operations, is fairly simple. You would first check the log files for any errors or successes. Test appropriately. Now, testing appropriately, that's something we'll talk about. That The amount of testing that you need to do for most patches is relatively minimal. We do test our patches fairly thoroughly in Oracle. But of course, depending on the criticality of what you're doing, you should be testing to make sure that the patches apply properly. And if you are looking for a specific bug fix, test to make sure that the bug fix was effective in your environment. And then roll back or reapply if really needed. So here's a demonstration of rolling back a patch with, uh, again, we'll do this with a combination of opatch and data patch. So in this case, remember, we have this patch applied to our database. And that means that the first thing we need to do is roll it back from our executables, because we can't have the database running with more patches than are available in your Oracle home. So with opatch, we roll back that patch ID, and it will go and change the binaries. And that binaries could be executables, it could be shared libraries, it could be wrapped PL SQL packages, any of that. And it will remove those from the Oracle home and put back the pre-patch versions of all of those images. So that could take a little bit of time. And now it's updating the inventory to note the fact that this patch is no longer installed in that Oracle home. Then we want to roll back 
the SQL changes from the database. And how do we do that? Good old data patch. Remember, all you do with data patch is you start up the database, make sure your pluggable databases are open, and then you just run data patch and it does the right thing because it can go into the registry of the database, determine which patches are installed within the database, compare that to your OPatch LS inventory, and determine which patches need to be rolled back. And there you go.